Yo, what is good lads? We are back today with it. It's going to be a squad build and this is a team I've been using to do wagers in streams and it's a good team to use in Division 1. I played a good few amount of games in Division 1. I'd already played 2 or 3 but I managed to win the rest of my games to win Division 1 with this team as well. So it's a pretty sweaty team. Let's jump in straight off in net. I'm going to be using a pretty overpowered beast if you ask me. is Salvatore Sirigu and he's got 85 diving, 87 reflexes and 84 positioning along with 79 kicking and 73 uh, 79 handling the 73 kicking, sorry, and you can pick him up for about 1.8k. And he stands at six foot four, and he's a great keeper, probably one of my favourites. And I have tried that um, at the beginning of the squad. I had um, Inform Sirigu, but uh, I sold him on to get money to make uh, another squad. But he was good as well, probably one of the best Inform keepers you out there that you can get. Because normally when you buy Inform keepers, they, you can't really tell the difference. But with Sirigu you definitely can, but let's jump in with the first centre back as well. Getting that PSG link, we've got Sacco, and he's for 2,000 coins. He is an absolute tank. 75 pace, 78 heading, uh, 78 defending, and 81 heading. He's six foot two. He's also got 67 passing for a centre back, which isn't too shabby. And he's a great, great defender nonetheless. Guaranteed, most of you have already used him, but. What, probably one of the best Umrare defenders, along with this beast right next to him again, it is Umrare Og Bonner. <sighs> Everyone must know about him. OG Bonner, 80 pace, 81 defending, 82 heading, 6 foot 2, 2.6k, it's gonna cost you, and he is well worth that. I don't really need to go into much about him because everyone probably knows about him. But getting that French connection on the right hand side, we're gonna use Eunice Cabal, and he's got 77 pace, 80 defending, and 83 heading. And the first of two CDMs we're going to be using is Paul Pogba, good old Poggy, 72 pace, 82 dribbling, 74 shooting, 74 defending, 80 passing and 80 heading. He's got great base card stats and he has got a banging shot on him. I haven't managed to score any on 9 goals but in wages I've probably played about 20 games for this team. Actually, probably more than that, probably pushing 25 games because I've probably played about 15 wages. Cost me 2.1k and he's well worth it, he's a great player. Uh, and the second CDM again, he's probably my favourite holding mid in this fucking game. I love it out at pieces. 80 pace, 82 dribbling, 76 shooting, 82 defending, 81 passing, and 72 heading. 72 heading being his lowest card stat. Uh, all the stats on his card look at amazing. Again, 2.5k, not going to cost you a lot. Again, both of them do an exceedingly good job of just seeing in front of uh, the defence and holding it. Pogba's got medium, medium work rates, and I think. Uh, Fidel's got high high so they do pretty good jobs nonetheless. Left mid we're going to have is Giovinco just for the pure fact that he's a pacey motherfucker and the right mid we're going to have is Birbiani and uh, you could have um, Ben Arfa as you see there. I use Ben Arfa sometimes but most of the time I use Birbiani but Seb Sebastian Giovinco 92 pace 92 dribbling as well the ball is literally glued to his foot 78 shooting 77 passing but the only downside of him, he's pretty weak. Actually, he's not even that weak. For someone that's five foot five, it's I don't know. I've seen him push Philippe. Well, Philippe Santana was trying to push him off the ball, and he managed to hold him off and still keep the ball. But he cost me 8.2k, more to the fact that he's a default a left forward, so he had to get changed down. And Biabiani, let's go to him. 96 pace. I'm pretty sure he's joint. He's the joint fastest with Theo Walker in the game. That isn't in form. And he's got 96 pace, as I said. 81 dribbling, 69 shooting. Uh, 72 passing, he's a pacey motherfucker, and he's pretty good to be fair. At uh, Cam as well, and I was a bit dubious of putting him in here, but Mickley, we got a Cam, and Jesus, he don't work, mate. Especially in my wages, mate. He was getting hat tricks after hat tricks in my wager game. He's got four star skills, four star weak feet. He's got 85 pace and 85 shooting, 86 dribbling, and 80 passing. And he's normally a striker. A striker with 80 passing is pretty banging, that's why I converted him down to Cam and played him there. And he pretty much did do a great job. And the first two strikers, you could probably guess them, it's going to be Muriel and Alexandra Pato. And they both did a great job, mate. Pato was probably my favourite, but Muriel, he's done a lot of good shit for me in the past, and again, he did it. In this game as well, and it, I, I know all this says I played 10 games, but my PS3 is pretty fucked at the moment, and I've been getting disconnected straight early on in games. After about 20 minutes, my PS3 just decides to freeze. I need a new PS3, my laser's fucked, and it's just burning through all my games. But let's carry on talking about a squad. We've got 91 pace, 87 dribbling, 76 shooting on this guy, Muriel. 
probably all used them before. He's an overpowered beast. You can't say he's not. 2.1k again. Most of these players you can pick up relatively cheap. Giovinco probably being the most expensive. Just because he's normally a left forward. But that's Mario and he's a tank. But my favourite player in the team was probably Pato. He scored 11 goals in 10 games. And he probably scored about 11 goals in 7 games. Because I got disconnected from about 3 or 4 right at the beginning. And they cost, you'll pick him up for about 8.9k. He might actually be the most expensive player in the squad. Because he now has transferred over to Corinthians in the Liga do Brazil. So... His Milan card got a bit more expensive, but he's got 89 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shooting, 77 heading, and he's also got 66 passing, ain't too bad. He's 5 foot 10, got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot, and as I said, he's probably my favourite player on the team. He's there to score all the goals, he scores quite a few headers, any sort of goal he's managing to get in, with that 77 heading in, he's still pretty good at heading, as I said. But this is going to be the team, Raz. Let's show you a few goals at the end. But this is a sway squad builder, which I use for wages in Division 1. Not normally my style, but this is what we've got for you today. If you haven't joined it, lads, drop a sub if you're new here. And if, if you, again, if you did enjoy it, then don't mind if you drop a like, that helps a lot. And I'm out. Safe.